Nick, to start off, uh, can you give us some insight into basically how you keep track of all the Canadian talent that's out there? We've talked about how mm. this is a golden age uh, yeah. for Canada basketball, but whether it's in Europe or here in the NBA, how are you keeping track of everyone? And maybe who do you trust to be your eyes and ears for what you can see? Well, let me let me give you the, the kind of the 30,000 foot view first. Um, with, first of all, the staff, I get a email about every other day with the um, stats of everybody from all over the world. So there's kind of a big, big list, long, big, long list, as you know, NBA, uh, college, uh, Europe, uh, whatever, wherever everybody's playing of just their just their numbers and their game, the result, you know, how many minutes, you know, just the stat read. So I can just kind of take that look um, a few times a week. That's all prepared by, by Phil Yetovich, our analytics and, and assistant coach. I like, he's such a good, good dude, good basketball guy. Um, and then obviously I, um, I watch a lot of NBA games. That's no different than the normal for me. I do tend to, stick around a little longer for a game that maybe not be that much interest to my Raptor job. Last night was a good example. I was kind of done for the night and decided to watch the end, you know, the, the last quarter and a half of the Memphis game where Brandon Clark had a nice little flurry there in the game. So, you know, there's, there's a bunch of guys playing and I can almost always find one of those each night to watch. Um, and I do once in a while throw on a Euro league game or something, you know, somebody will say, Hey, Pango's had a big night last night. And then I'll just get my film guys to tell them to put it on my TV in the office on the way into the office. And I'll, you know, you can usually watch those games in 45 minutes or an hour and spend that much time doing that. But that's probably the, the gist of it. 